Sexy Comedy with Hillary Herbert and Josh Edelman. Hi, we're here. <laughs> it's going to be... I was in... It's going to be a fast one, but she's going to get double the, the topics in. <laughs> I'm setting an alarm. We have 30 minutes. Is this how you set an alarm? No, a stopwatch. Timers. We're going to set it for 30 minutes. Set it for 29 minutes. I hope minutes. you remember to breathe before your oxygen treatment. <laughs> yeah, I got to remember to breathe when I'm in my oxygen treatment. Because the one thing they tell you to do is don't hold your breath. But when I'm watching Love is Blind, I'm like... <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. And I have to remind myself to... <sighs> one of my like big panic attack things is I'm worried, I'm worried I forgot how to breathe. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes. <laughs> and I'll be like... <gasps> or like, do you ever go like, I can't swallow right now. I can't yeah, swallow yeah, right I now. Yeah, I have that. Yeah. A lot of it, am I having a heart attack? Is my pulse going? Yeah. I guess if I'm checking my pulse, I have a pulse. Yeah, you have one. <laughs> Let's, okay, so last week we had an unfortunate, um, I think, um, menstrual bloating thing going on. So I just want to let everyone know we're all good again. I thought you looked good in the oh, podcast last week. No. No. Really? I mean, I thought the lighting what do was I, good. What do I know? I thought the lighting was good. And then you know what else I noticed was, well, God bless you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll take the compliment and from all of you. Thank you. Um, I didn't, uh, my hair, was. Uh, lots of things were going on. Uh, I, I am, uh, really, I know people think maybe I'm incredibly vain, but I'm wildly humble because... <laughs> Because this is my less good side. Mm. If I were sitting in that chair, the... I don't know. I actually... I, th I disagree with you. I think the other side's your good side. You think you think this side's my good side? Mm -hmm. And you think that's my less good side? No, I think they're both good sides. Good answer, Josh. <laughs> um, when I... Uh, I used to have a photo booth company. Did you know I used to have a photo booth company? No, but the similarities between you and my ex-boyfriend from college are so funny. He had funny. a photo booth company? He was a magician for a little bit. <laughs> and... <laughs> And um, his dad was like Mr. Polaroid. Mm, well, so this was like, it was the most miserable job ever. I hated it with like a fiery passion, but it paid the bills for a while. I, I have, I still own one of the three photo booths I used to have. Um, what does that comprise of? They're, they were massive. They were like photo massive booths things. booths that you like bring to parties? For like weddings and corporate okay, okay. events. Fun, fun, they were fun. like big, oh, high, well you, you high can, pressure You events. can bring them to... Bring I it bring them nowhere anymore. Wait, then what is it? Give it to me. I want it for when mm -hmm. I throw parties. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> it was also extremely expensive. Well, but, but, okay, so but, you, but my point was that, oh it? my God, did I get to like firsthand experience people's... Uh, oh, people are insane. Like at the, the people photo booth. that were the people like just the people that so like I have never and I guess I'm an idiot. Uh I don't I don't have what it takes to uh get a good driver's license photo. Mm -hmm. a and the women that do, God bless them because I've seen them you want negotiate shot. You want shot. Not, I mean, these women, <laughs> the negotiation that goes on between them and the, so the like, photo the ID person. getting a ticket and not getting a ticket, is, yeah. sir. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, um, but no, but like what would happen so often is people would take their picture and be like, oh, I look fat in this. Can I do it again? Yeah. And then like they take like 10 more pictures and change nothing about themselves oh, no. in it. They keep being upset. And I'm like, I think it's not a photo booth problem. Oh, no. I think this might be yeah. a you problem. Yeah. Come back when you're different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't <laughs> like, like can the you, they Can look. you do the filth? Uh, like, like, like everyone thinks, every, you know when everyone thinks they got that great joke that everyone tells? Oh, where's the filter that makes me skinny? Yeah, um, yeah, where's yeah. Ha, ha, ha. where's the where's the filter that makes me skinny? So oh, great! I always had to fake laugh at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I I don't think I've ever hated a job more. Um, speaking of filters that make you look skinny, uh, smooth transition to I, my finger is on the pulse josh this is what i wanted to come in hot with today my finger, when i'm having panic attacks, when you're having yeah your fingers also. on the pulse um, <laughs> uh two to three times a day 
Um, how are you doing, by the way? Because we really did brush over in, last week the fact that you were like, I am deeply depressed. I'm going to well, a lot of open mics and I think I need to go back the, on all my medications. The, the number one thing, I'm in a good mood right now. Okay. I'm in a good mood right now because I came up with a new sketch idea that I'm very excited about. Fun. So anytime I have one. And that you, like, you wrote me into it. <laughs> no, it's just all me. It's, uh, but but anytime, anytime I have one where I'm like, oh, this is a surefire winner for me. I'm in a good mood. So okay. now, now I got to do all the hard work of making it and staying enthused. Good. But I'm in the moment of enthusiasm of of figuring out a surefire winner. We're excited for you. Um, should I start with the feet first? Maybe get the feet out of the way. Oh, oh, for the for the for. I don't know. I I guess we've. I guess the feet thing's just going to be a thing. The comments. You're going to use it. You could. The, the comments, comments on YouTube are they are, are the feet. Comments blowing up? Uh, yeah, the feet comments are how blowing many, up. How many? How many? How okay, many we talked? So our last video on our last on our last podcast, which <laughs> clearly no one listens to because it was rather heavy. Um, <laughs> there uh, were some good jokes. Yeah, there it was fun, and also if you actually paid attention, really dark. Um, okay, uh, one comment. Content, 10 out of 10. Subjects, 10 out of 10. Feet, 1,000 out of 10. <laughs> Try to wear... I, I think... I'm going to go on a live here. I think Hillary's writing these <laughs> these comments. Try to wear... Hillary <laughs> started like five burner accounts. And Try to, these, are all, <laughs> these are all burner accounts. I looked into them. Try to wear nylon, miss. Next one. Do you know if you are showing... Oh, do you know if you are showing your feet more and wearing pantyhose, I promise your video gets lots of views because all of us... Are noticed. You have something special about your feet. You must accept this. It's po <laughs> it, it's positive thing, girl. As well, I'm enjoying you, Hillary. Hillary, you discuss is great. Another one. So, okay, so this so is got, the we got so this is the into your feet. yes. So <laughs> feet right. Box. So I looked up. These are all. They don't have pictures. There, the account was the accounts were created a month ago. Okay, so this might be a, a real one. Question is, which one of these accounts is the one that ends up murdering you? <laughs> I don't get shot in the head till I'm 55. I've got 55, time. 55, 55, okay. Size, size your feet 9.5. Oh, my God, to faces. Take the socks. Take off the socks for him, to for him, Hillary, see, whatever. I can't follow all those. Is anyone trying to see my feet? <laughs> no. And, but that's the, this is the massively confusing part to me. I just assumed, again, I have pretty feet, and I know what not pretty feet look like, um, but my feet are not petite. And I just assumed if I were a dude, which I have some many, many dude thoughts often, and they disturb me, um, I would want petite feet on the woman. I, I wouldn't, and I and I well, and I that's, wouldn't. That's your preference. That's my preference. It's probably, my, I it's probably the majority preference. However, it must be. However, it must be. Uh, there are the people that are wanting these gigantor feet that aren't Josh? getting that aren't getting their Josh? that aren't getting their fill, Hillary. <laughs> and you're providing. <laughs> Edit. You're providing. You're providing. Talk the size. to me like the men on here. You're talk providing to me. the size ten. Okay, feet. so now they're this looking, person, it's they're what, not size ten. Size they're are? nine and a half, Josh. <laughs> I so help me God, I am hanging in there. I like how you're like you're like forcing your feet into these nine. No, they are true nine and a half. <laughs> they're true nine and a half. Um. Okay. So how this, tall are you, Hillary? Five nine. Five nine. So I mean, I'd fall you're over. You're taller than I, me, but you have smaller feet. Well, this is a woman's size foot. Yeah, so you have a woman's nine and a half. What's your? What are you getting at? I'm a man. What size I'm a men's ten and a half. Right. So but you're, I'm five eight. But I have so a, a, a ten and a half. I forget the size difference. I think it's like a size and a half difference. So I technically probably have slightly longer feet than you. No, no, no. Women's size. I would be a larger size in women's than Oh, really? And a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't work that way. Oh, fewy. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. Mm, I feel so little next to you, Josh. But imagine the balance you would have if you had proportional sized feet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm. <laughs> okay, this. so this one, this one, a couple of them put timestamps. Forty-eight, forty. My my best part, of course, laughing out loud. I don't know what part it was. Hillary, your feet is very amazing. 
do must to know that. Where the fuck are these people from? <laughs> Juice, Juice Harry, who I still think is a burner account, but also went and followed me on Instagram. I think I'm, oh, this one sounds real. I think I'm starting to get attached to your videos. What is your name on Instagram? I want to be the person number two fan. So now we have a number. Now our fans are competing. Or person so, number one got, got sketched and decided he had to create a new person <laughs> to be person number two. But no, no, hey, hey. We're hey, getting- see you in the future. You will become the best podcaster in the world. Also the best feat in the world. Uh, stand up. Do a 360. I just did. You're welcome. Let us see that ass already. God damn it. LOL. And you will see it. Josh and I will be hitting the ground. Uh, I actually, I'll talk to you about it privately, but we brought Stacy in as a, as another producer when we start doing that. What? <laughs> so you guys can compete too. Cause you know, um, okay. So this person actually listens to the podcast and that weirded me out. Am I real? A figment of Hillary's imagination or a paid actor employed by a wealthy benefactor? A fans fan. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That was my favorite comment because I was like, oh, God, someone's actually listening. Yeah, yep. <laughs> are we going to change the name of the show to Hard Sexy Feet with Hillary Herbert? You know what? It might be a different name depending on who we're pandering to on any given week. Um, okay, so what my finger is on the pulse, Josh. Your toe is on the pulse. My toe. <laughs> My finger couldn't reach, so I put my toe out Your there. Your toe is on the pulse. Um, it's how I the, won every race internet, I've ever of won. The, of the internet. <laughs> Toe is on the floor. Yeah, there's um, your moment. There's your moment. Yeah, there it is YouTube. with the shoe. So sorry. Um, maybe I'll give them a look. But at maybe, they'll, maybe they'll just be happy that we've talked about your feed so much. I'm happy. If you want to send me money, I'm happy to send anyone pictures. I have no... I have no... Um, Hillary's going to start... Hillary's going to start an only feed. An only feed. I mean, that's got, well, I asked somebody about that, and that's got to be a saturated market. There's you no way to, that I could. You need me to get cu- your OnlyFans going? I'll take, Will a, you? I'll take a cut of that. Will you? <laughs> Let's just see. Let's just see. I don't know if this, I don't know if I'm breaking my mom, the promise I made to my mom. What promise get, did you make to your you mother? OnlyFan, that I wouldn't work in porn. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, I hate to break it to you. <laughs> that, that, this, that this show is already qualified. <laughs> I, mean, I can't get. I followed 1,000 doctors. It's crazy how easy I thought it would be to not work in porn and then how hard that's ended up being. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the crazy thing about coming. You're, my mom makes that. I'm like, yeah. what a frivolous, yeah, what yeah, a frivolous yeah. promise I've made. Yeah. And I'm out here and I'm like, ah. I need to suck a dick this one. <laughs> <laughs> Get this rent paid. Um, I followed a thousand doctors. Only one of them followed me back. We have to change. Ah, uh, yeah. The, it's too. It is very aggressive. It's very aggressive. This was all your idea, though. <laughs> I know. I know. My brainchild just ready to talk. That's all it is. She's just talking. I'm just into the talking, mic. but it does. I remember way back you. Um, I was talking about. Do you ever have like a, a, th- a thing that people are always like, you know, say about you? And I told you that men always say that I'm trouble and tough. And you were like, you're not trouble. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe I grew out of it. But this screams trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I was looking at it from a different perspective. Yeah. you were underestimating me at the time um okay so my finger is on the pulse in that i'm always a bit a step ahead of uh of the curve of the curve and so did a podcast just come out that was like what you were trying to do is that what you're saying no and i'm not worried about that because i've looked around and there are podcasts here there did then you're maybe you're maybe a step behind no 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 (laughs) no there's not a there's not a comedic take on all um, of the absolute surgery. shenanigans. Because no one else doing comedy can afford plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I, I do. I have a unique, um, you know, Twist. angle. Mm-hmm. And so, yes, there are there are women and uh, the hotter, each one hotter than the next, you know, that could be doing a whatever. But the chance of somebody having a, you know, an improv background and who is excellent at hosting and interviewing to then and also relatively knowledgeable about 
because I spend so much time, it's very actually truly interesting to me to then be able to ask the right questions or not ask these redundant questions that they're always answering over and over again. I mean, these talk about being ahead of the polls. These doctors are always a step behind. They're always just following like little ducks behind whatever the next, like my doctor has been putting people into hyperbaric and you you get sessions for that after your surgery, just like, you know, because he wants you to have a successful recovery. And now like within the last week, even all these doctors are like, have you ever heard about hyperbaric? And then they're at this like janky, is that a word that you can say anymore? Janky? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Edit. Um, no. at these sort of, I say janky, uh, I'm not sh convinced that what's, means it's okay. What's, I'm looking up what janky comes um, from. Um, anyway, you, do you know what janky comes from? I'm not, can we stop saying the word? It's your editing that you're going to have to do later. Um, uh, it's just, it's just so wild to watch the parade of mimicking and, and just, following whatever and it seems to me that it leads you down the road of they don't care what quality patient they have they just want as much business as possible and that seems like such a headache to me like as a dance instructor and as a private my own studio I can make all the rules I can you can come in I can kick you out I can do whatever I want um is I'm very selective of where I want and who I want to spend my time with. So it depends on the situation of if it's um, interesting to me or filling, fulfilling to me to work with those people. But when these doctors are just trying to get whoever is going to fall for the, you know, gimmick or the whatever it is, um, you're going to then deal with these patients who are maybe not that intelligent which is going to cause a significant number of problems because they're not going to be there's a lot there's a lot that goes into emotionally as a patient that goes into having surgery and recovering and all that stuff and I mean what a headache to do that with idiots I, I, I just it's wild to me but hey get your money um it does seem like janky is okay janky's okay okay so Matt, or am I just telling you? Now to do I less dread. Editing? I'm gonna. Yeah. We're gonna have to have a. When I want you to stop talking on this subject, I'm just gonna tap the table. Okay. <laughs> because so I, see, uh, so I, I feel like I'm a trained dog. All of a sudden. Yeah. This is a. This is. A, I know this is a, tr a trigger comedian for everyone. Um, the Matt Rife scandal, and I am I not I talking about the like cancel because of his inappropriate comment. Or, or joke or whatever know, it was. I, I don't even know if I know what scandal you're talking about. Um, he so he he had his. I, I don't. I didn't look too into it because I didn't care. I don't remember if it was during uh, his. I I don't know if it was during. He had made a joke that people were like ah, and then the, when he posted uh, in a the the domestic abuse joke. I guess I don't care. But um, and then he whatever it doesn't matter what I'm talking about is his plastic surgeon all but said his name. So you know how he's denied doing anything well, that's crazy. to his face. That's which crazy. Part? He looks more he looks more done up than Joan Rivers. Yes. So he <laughs> so yes, so on on his part, he didn't have someone or he wasn't willing. He didn't have someone guiding him to say, you know, it's it's when you when you look so different but a lot of people do this. Scarlett Johansson like sued a publication for saying she had a nose job, which don't sue me, but she did. Um, and and she sued them. And she sued them, which is, or threatened to sue them. Maybe I think that's what it was. She threatened to sue them, which is so wild to me because she said, when you say that about me, you know, that affects my career and the way people think about me and all this stuff. You did have a nose job. Just like 99.9% .9 of the actresses in Hollywood did. They all did. All of them. All of them. Do you think Matt Reif walked into his plastic surgeon's office with a picture of Justin Bieber and went, do this? <laughs> No, because it's he does. no. I think he. I think he's. Well, I feel like he looks. I, I feel like he looks like he. He looks like 
Justin he, Bieber. He looks like a, he, no, to me, he looks more like an AI image of what Matt Reif would look like. Mm, I feel like he looks if like he someone who's, I feel like, I feel like masculine. he looks like Justin Bieber trying to stay kid Justin Bieber. Like if, like if, if, if Justin Bieber already felt like he was aging too much. I don't I, I don't see it. I, I I don't see it. I but, have no I have no hate for him. Um but uh But so, I just always assumed So it was what happened was his surgeon who is this absolute exactly what I don't like to see on Instagram from these surgeons. Now he thinks that he's a character, like he's a performer and why anyone would look at that and go, yeah, this is the person that I want to slice into me is just beyond. But his surgeon who looks like the donkey from Shrek if he used the like Instagram aging filter. Maybe he did just grow into the way he looks now. No, he got his jaw done. Um, so his surgeon does this obnoxious post where he's like skipping down the hallway and then captions over it, you know, basically like my, I gave this, my patient the jaw, the, this, that, or the other, and then right before he got canceled, thanks a lot, something like that, and then hashtagged it comedian canceled whatever like just, just basically was like might as well have given his address out and matt reif commented on it mm -hmm. and said you know it's illegal to lie about people's this that and the other now i as a person that has spent a significant amount of time around doctors know that they get real loosey-goosey about the hipaa laws um uh and uh so, but, for, so not only now does a surgeon just, what a doofus, and he looks like a doofus on his Instagram. He's hard to look at to begin with and thinks that he's just, I guess, the next best comedian. But he, not only that, now he's outing himself as someone that can't be discreet with celebrities, I mean, what celebrity is going to go to this schmuck? And why are you going to a plastic surgeon in Chicago in the first place? I mean, anytime I see these, I mean, I guess if you can't pay to travel for surgery, you see these surgeons in other states and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all the surgeons in other states are going to sue you. That's who's going to sue. <laughs> I mean... What states would you get plastic surgery in? I feel like Chicago is, you know, it's a big city. I wouldn't get plastic surgery in, I would get plastic surgery in Los Angeles. I would get plastic surgery in, um, New York. In New York. I guess Brazil. Miami. Maybe. Vegas. Nope. Vegas is where the cheap surgeons are. I think Mexico is where the cheap surgeons are. <laughs> a lot of people go to Turkey to get hair plugs. I think Turkey, uh, I mean, I don't, I can't tell about Turkey. I have seen some, some fantastic results on the gram, but that's the kind of thing where you need a, a consultant to guide you because it's, it's just, you can't, you really can't part of me is tell from, part of me is from looking about, at Instagram. Part of me is upset about the whole Middle East thing right now because I feel like I can't go to Turkey to get my hair plugs done. Yeah, you couldn't wait. You just you put the joke together and you got it out, Josh. So that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I only got six minutes to get the rest of these I jokes out. <laughs> what other turkey material do you have for us, Josh? <laughs> that's it. Um, okay, with our with our five minutes remaining before I'm late for my hyperbaric appointment, and can I can I don't have any um. I don't have any Love is Blind updates for you because uh, we I I haven't watched a new episode since we've done the last podcast. Is that correct? Or did I leave here last time and go there again? I don't remember. Um, uh, okay. Oh! Dr. T and the women. Oh, you watched it? It's a gynecologist, Josh. Oh. I he was a gynecologist. So I sat down with my computer last night and I was like, okay, let's see what this is about. Oh, that's right. That's right. And, he is, I, he is and I opened it up. I watched it, it in like high school. And the first scene 
is just a woman's leg spread and a man insert. You just see the man's hand. Is it's it Richard from, Gere. Is it from in the perspective of the vagina? Yes. It's like looking at him through the legs. No. Oh, oh. It's No, it's looking at... It's like a three-quarter angle of the legs, and then the so you can't see the vagina, but you see both legs, and you know that the speculum is going in. The which speculum. I don't, I don't like gyneco- gynecological Stuff? humor okay. in movies. I don't like preg- like labor delivery. Did you watch jokes. the whole movie? I, th- I once I realized what the situation was, and then it was like this crowded gyneco. I can't even say the word anymore. He's gynecologist a, office. He's a it's a good filmmaker that made the movie. Great. It's so, like, it, it on so many levels from, from I'm going to say, like, a feminist point of view, just so disturbing. Sure. Um, <laughs> so the first scene, he's putting in the speculum, and I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, wait, is it? So I scrubbed through the whole thing. And, I mean, cute actresses in it. I guess it, I just was like, so then I wanted to, I guess we'll have to pick up on this next time. But I, I was like, oh, I never told the full story of my chiropractor, which I think I should tell. I'm not going to name names. I'm not looking to get anyone in trouble. But it was so much so that I was in conversation with a lawyer about it because it was really um, like above and beyond. And I just got I'm not a litigious person and I <laughs> just don't care enough. I am. And yeah. And I, I, there was a point where the. I, I, I just was like, you know what, I don't want to get into this. And, and I remember I got a call from like the lawyer's assistant and she was like, are you sure? <laughs> it's very sweet girl. She's like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, I don't care. She's like, okay. Um, let's shout out with our last three minutes. Um, let's shout out, because uh, I've had two doctors um, that I know you think I have such a terrible, which I do have a terrible track record, but... Um, <laughs> But uh, my dentist and my um, dermatologist, I have been with both of those men for over a decade. Good for go with them. Yes. Optometrist? Do you have an optometrist? No, because my eyes are always perfect. But um, so checked. my she had, she had yearly checkups for. OK, so uh, so my dentist, um, going back to a bad track record, when I moved to L.A., I had I had come from New York and I had eight cavity fillings. Damn. And um, the he looked at my teeth and he said, "You know, can I? I'd be interested to see your X-rays from that because I can't tell that you actually had anything wrong." And this is a big dentist thing. This comes up a lot, so everybody should. You really got to get a second well, opinion. I have a family. Sometimes. I have a family that like family friend dentist. It's good. So um, I sent. I had my X-rays sent from the New York office to my. Um, LA dentist's office and he said you know I'm sorry to tell you but you didn't have any cavities and this guy filled eight cavities which is I can't express how violating it feels for someone to drill into your face when when you don't need it and um, drill into my face when I do need it but um, (laughs) not then Uh, so so, so he was wonderful because he's never pushed anything on me i don't even get x-rays uh when i go i i did the last time maybe maybe he's keeping you because he's like yep everything's great and you just keep hearing that everything's great and you like that and you're like my mouth is in well, so much pain but he the doctor, I, my the mouth, doctor knows how to talk to he talk isn't to a lady in pain and he's <laughs> really he's just always been very i've gone i started with him at like a really dinky little office and over those 10 years now he's in a fancy you know, view on Wilshire of the mountains and Mm, really, yeah, really great. And he's always been trustworthy and professional. Once once he started filling everyone else's cavities. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, you can do that. Um, And then my, uh, my dermatologist Mm. I have been with. uh, So my dentist is doctor. Should I, I don't know if I should give that out because I feel like people follow me places. Yeah. And then my dermatologist who I've been with for over 10 years has been a, consummate if you know her right? and you want to know who they are she yeah can you can you. you can ask me uh he has been so professional and again somebody that doesn't go like oh take that off take that off take that off i have to he'll be like you don't need to take that off and i'll be like can you please take it off it gives me peace of mind and he's like okay like if you want and he's always been this very professional very sort of like dad like you know 
guy you can trust. And then a thing that he does that men never do around me, that's our time, that men never do around me is he, he consistently and like genuinely mentions his wife. Mm. And that you'd be surprised how my wife little is such that a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, things aren't working out with my wife. <laughs> 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 that was more of the chiropractor. Um, uh, uh, well, I just wanted to say, you know, the, these short episodes. You came in. You're, you're always worried about like the humor, but you came in came in on fire today. You know, I think the pr- I think this you, is what you we work, talked about in well the last under, one. You work well under the pressure. I work when you got when you have endless time. That's when you start getting a little too introspective. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, okay. I guess that's our thirty minute hyper- episodes from now on. I've got to get to my hyperbaric appointment. I will let you all know how um, how Shane and Natalie are doing on Love Is Blind next week. <laughs>